Hey everybody, how's it going today? This is Jim from the Pain PT, and today we're going to discuss this topic of what's called interoception. Now it's a word that many of you guys have probably never heard of before, just like I discussed alexithymia, another word that's very much important when we're talking about chronic somatic symptoms. But this word interoception is the idea of being able to tune into our body's senses. It's like the eighth sense, being able to tune into what we feel in our bodies in an accurate way and to know what we're feeling. So classically, when researchers have studied this, and there's more and more studies coming out, it's a burgeoning field of research looking at interoception in relationship to anxiety, depression, chronic pain, um, other chronic health conditions, because it's very important. I'm going to link to studies here in the notes as well you guys can look at. So interoception again, what is it? It's this ability to tune in to yourself to notice accurately what you're feeling and a sensation wise uh, body signals. Now again classically how they've looked at this and measured this is the ability for a person to be able to detect accurately how many heartbeats they could feel over a minute and they would measure that accuracy of the person just tuning into their heart and noticing the heartbeat versus them actually measuring it and see how accurate that is to get an idea. So you guys can do this yourself too. You can see if you can measure if you have a heart rate monitor, something like that. You can link that up and at the same time uh, be able to detect your own heartbeat and count the, your heart rate over a minute. Now. Interoception is not just around your heart rate or heartbeat. It's actually around this ability to be able to detect accurately signals coming in your body. Okay, it's a central nervous system ability which is coming from your brain. And people with chronic pain, as you're going to see in the study here, lots of studies are showing that there's a loss of accurate interoception. There's a loss of this ability to tune in and be able to pick up the signals in the correct way. So one of the examples they give is that people with anxiety disorders, when they feel anxiety, they're not picking up the anxiety as just anxiety and saying, oh, it's just anxiety. Not a big deal. They're picking up that signal as a threat, as something dangerous, and then the brain is reacting with further anxiety, further catastrophizing, further worry. Now what they show in chronic pain, chronic somatic symptoms, is this interoception difficulty is that people are picking up signals in the body of pain and things and they're misinterpreting them or incorrectly or inaccurately deciphering them as being something wrong. Okay, so this is an actual part of interoception, which plays in very, very nicely with this idea of what we're saying is that what you're feeling in your body guys, once you've ruled out physical causes, it's just emotions, it's just sensations that are non-dangerous, they're benign. But the brain is picking up the signal and interpreting as if it's something worse or stronger. Okay, so with a interoceptive difficulty, some people will misinterpret or magnify the sensation into something it's not. Okay, so they give the idea of a normal body sensation. But the brain is reading it as being something way bigger, way larger than what it is. Okay, so that's a misinterpretation. So this is a very real thing. So we're trying to get you guys to learn to tune in to yourself and interpret what you're feeling as just sensations. Again, once you've ruled out a physical uh, cause to your problem, what you're feeling are most likely just emotions in your body. Okay, that's the other thing that people with interoception difficulties have, and that's why they have increased anxiety and depression, is because they're not able to decipher the feelings in their body as just the physical manifestation of emotions. Okay, that leads into lexithymia as well. So there's some overlap here. But interoception is this ability to mindfully attend to your body noticing signals of hunger, signals of thirst, um, being able to accurately pick up on body signals that hit your brain and being able to accurately interpret what they are. 
Okay, so this is a skill that I teach a lot with people to learn, partly through somatic tracking, as you guys know, but partly there's some nuances to it that um, you want to be doing it in the right way because your mindfulness, as we alluded to, can turn into hypervigilance. Hypervigilance is a altered form of interoception. So I wanted to introduce this concept that it's a very real, very real concept. It's a very real um, thing that is being studied. It's been studied a lot. It's being studied more uh, in relationship to chronic health disorders, somatoform disorders, somatic symptom disorders, anxiety, depression, other mental health disorders. So we want to improve your interoception, guys. Okay, to accurately interpret what you're feeling in your body. And when it comes to chronic pain disorders, especially somatoform disorders, what you're feeling is not dangerous. It's your brain that's misinterpreted it, or magnified it. So I'm going to link you the two articles here. There's many more, but you can search for them on your own. And reach out if you want some help in this area. This is part of learning how to work with your body and be able to improve your interoception so that you can improve your emotion regulation ability, detecting emotions. You can learn to decrease somatic symptoms. And it's a very good overall skill to have, just like noticing what's going on in your environment, learning to notice what's going on in yourself. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.